dramatic rescue of the video you will see only right here on K2. We were there as firefighters freed a man trapped by a MAX train. On your side, investigator Tom Jensen was first on the scene and has some exclusive video tonight. Tom? Yeah, we were first on the scene just minutes after 911 calls in, went in explaining to dispatchers that there was a man trapped under the platform between the train and the platform right there here in the Hollywood District. This is the station on 42nd Avenue in the Hollywood District, right between 24-Hour Fitness and Hollywood Bowl. At about 1.45 this afternoon, witnesses say a man apparently slipped on the platform and was trapped under the train. But they say people were using their cell phones to take pictures and video instead of calling 911. Jeffrey Hubbard and Danielle Viffian were just getting off a train and immediately called 911. Danielle stayed with the man and talked to him while they waited for an ambulance. Uh, they got here within the, ne the next five minutes of her calling. Within ten, five to ten minutes, they had ambulance and fire truck within the ten minutes. And they told me to stay on the phone with them. Very emotional moment for you, I'm guessing. It's the first time I've ever seen something like this. From Jet Ranger 2, you can see just how many emergency crews responded. For a short time this afternoon, MAX riders had to be moved by shuttle buses around the accident. The man was taken to Providence Medical Center just blocks away. He was conscious and talking when he was loaded into the ambulance. Hubbard and Vivian were really shaken up by this, not only because of the tragic injuries. They say the man's head was split open and it looked like he had a broken leg, but they were also upset really upset because no one was calling 911. In fact, they were the first ones to call 911 after they got off that MAX train coming the other way. So a lot of uh, explaining to do. We're hoping to get the video uh, from the uh, from TriMet showing exactly what happened to this man, what he was hit by, and how he ended up getting underneath that MAX train. We're live in the Hollywood District. Tom Jensen, K2 News.